Hey everybody, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Runers. So, we are going to be an elf mummy with Kinetic Bolt. Sounds sensible enough, and I have no idea what Kinetic Bolt does. Go figure, I haven't exactly messed around with any of the spells outside of this. This is still completely blind. Okay, wow, it fires damn fast. This must be what happens when you max out speed. Now let's bust me up some rocks. It does weird percent based damage, too. Or not percent base, but it does fractional damage, which I, I will admit, I'm not exactly used to. Anyway, it looks like uh, me busting up the rocks is not really doing us a whole lot of good. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Uh, note to self, be a little bit more agile. I, I guess I really have to take this with a bullet hell, you know, uh, a bullet hell mentality in the beginning, which is pay attention where the enemies are, not where you are. And just get, oh, don't. Don't get hit by the rocks. Now, the one problem is this is a whole mass of skeletons, and we can't get close. Right. Well, actually, no. This is, this is working out. We just have to, you know, pelt them to the point where they get stuck. Or not when, to the point where they get stuck, to the point where they fall over. At that point, it singles them out, and I can just focus on, you know, stepping on them, which works well. There we go. We are taking a little bit of damage here. This is... Definitely a little bit on the rougher side of things as far as, like, the beginning of a run goes, but not the end of the world. Oh, that one's going to get back up. No, it's not. And we get a heart for our troubles. Beautiful. Bust me up some rocks. I was considering going Dryad, but the double damage from everything is a little bit on the concerning side. I'll definitely try it soon, but it's definitely one of those where I'd like to know, you know... Yep. Well, hmm. I definitely like to know the... Ah, I'm getting stuck on all of the rocks. Like, this game definitely could use a little bit of the whole, like, slidey thing whenever you hit an ob obstacle, but as it stands, it's like, you hit an impediment, you are just flat out stuck. Which is not the end of the world, it just definitely is one of those where it's like, uh, problems. Oh well. Not the end of the world, let's turn off the map. Kind of wish it would go away instantly, but no, it has a bit of a fade out. So it's just like, well, are you going? Do I have to? Do I have to keep like babysitting the map to go away? And the answer is no. Also, I turned on enemy, enemy uh, names, which actually is going to really help me spot them, which is really useful. But uh, wow, I have to say my accuracy is a lot better when my spells actually travel nigh instantly. But so bunch of novice light mages, they're generally no big deal, and we get a dark rune, which. I believe this is actually our first rune picked up, which is convenient. Come on, I should... I... Okay. It, the double circle thing always screws with my head, and I have no idea if it's like a debuff? Like, is it actually designed into the game? Or am I just going crazy? Probably shouldn't have picked up that heart, probably should have held off on it and picked it, picked it up later, but oh well. Anyway, uh, let's see. Now, the thing about the elf is it's plus two to all rune levels and minus two to all stats. Or two percent to all stats, which is not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, it is a debuff. The double rune thing is a debuff. I actually was not expecting that. I figured it was... I, I figured it was a, you know, just a bug with the game. But no, if that's actually designed in, that's just devious. And mean, but still. Also, this room is kind of mean, because it's like you got the burrower coming after you, but you also have a couple of entropy mages that are just kind of hanging around. And because of their random shotgun effect of the entropy bolt, I, I guess it's not that hard to dodge just by moving left and right. But it is definitely one of those where it's like, you uh, you get close to them, they're just going to wallop you with an arrow. Come on, floating brain. It is a floating brain, right? I have no idea. Is it invin- okay, it, it became invincible as a result. Oh, you know what? I bet it's the floating brains that's screwing with my accuracy, and that that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet that is in fact how it works. Anyway, so, no floating brains here means no issues, just gotta get around. So, rat plus one. So, in, instead of having, like, uh, creative names, it's just like, oh! Well, uh, it's plus one rat. Just like a plus one greatsword, or a plus one throwing axe, or a plus one arrow. Well, I guess uh, everybody just enchants their, their rats around here in this dungeon. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but you know what? Can't complain too much. 
they're really not that threatening, especially if you just take a generally clockwise approach to this entire game. Eventually, we're going to get cornered and lose all of our health, but as it stands, the enemies cannot handle con uh, like consistent movement. And it's mostly just a fear of getting trapped, which makes sense. Okay, so I'm hoping we can get some more runes. I've learned some new things about how to about how to upgrade our stuff. At least I think I've learned them. Kind of does depend on how it goes. I also hope we find a a triple combiner at some point, because as it stands, we do have a double. That's good. We need to find more of them though. But. Uh, if we find a triple, that that's pretty much going to make the run for me, because, well, I've always wanted to know what a triple combiner is like, and I have no idea. Okay, and apparently we've looped back upon ourselves. I didn't even realize that there was a side passage there. Well, okay, let's go over this direction, and what do we got? Bunch of burrowers. Probably should have actually messed with the spell combiner first. Wow, burrower plus ones really do go quite the distance. Anyway, I think we have, like, Water, Earth, and Dark, which could lead to some interesting stuff. What I'd like to have is some kind of, like, AoE, because as much as I like Kinetic Bolt for its, like, accuracy and speed, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and it really doesn't hit a whole lot of targets. So if we had something... Uh, I mean, realistically, Chain Lightning would be pretty beautiful in this build, because we got the accuracy down, we just don't have multi-targets, and we don't have, you know, speed of killing, essentially. Which should be fine, it's just a matter of uh, not taking too much damage along the way. And realistically, burrowers are not a threat. Hey, there's a double combiner. We need those. Uh, yeah, the burrowers are not a threat, especially as long as we keep moving. So we got that going for us. It's just a matter of, you know, take every taking everybody else out. Apparently the plus one burrower is dead. Was not paying attention when that happened. Anyway, he's dead. Looks like we've got an event room and a bunch of splitting off areas, but first let's go into our spell combiner and let's do Raging Dark Rune and Fire Rune. I don't think we know what this one does. It is called Slow Burn. Oh, interesting. It's a... It's a... It's a buff. Was not actually expecting that. Okay, and then let's try Earth and Water. You get mudslide. Oh, hey! We know what this one does. And that's kind of perfect, actually, for what I was asking for. Okay, let's wait for our spells to recover. Unfortunately, mudslide does have a bit of a long cooldown, but whatever. Okay, so what's this event called? Living statues. These statues seem to be thriving with energy. Only hit them when they are awake. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Only attack the living statues. Do not attack the statues that are still. Okay, that's a level of complication. If only the Entropy Mage would move out of the danger zone so I could specifically focus on the ones that are... Okay, not statuetized, because I don't want random... I don't want random attacks hitting everybody else and tell I'm ready. See, they're they're hiding behind the living brain. The jerks. It's, unfortunately, there is a living brain. Oh, I guess it's a floating brain. But at the same time, uh, okay, now they're all at about moving. And okay, yeah, definitely the mudslide is going to be useful, especially for the slow speed, or the movement speed debuff that I'm applying to everything. I just wish it fired faster. I might have to switch it out for something else just once we get into, like, larger combat. Also... <laughs> Oh, did I fail it because I could not hit the floating brain? That just that's just cruel and unusual. Oh well, uh, serves me right. Let's use this, whatever this is. Yeah. Okay. So as useful as the slow speed thing could be for you know hurting enemies around, I think we're gonna want to switch out mudslide anyway. It's just a little bit slow. Wow. Actually, maybe not. It it is definitely helping in terms of this. It's just, it fires so slowly, you miss, and it's just, you know, just screws you up. Kind of what I wish I knew what that, like, coffiny thing did, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Okay. This room is dead end. Let's head back out. We've got two rooms we're missing, potentially? Two passageways, at least. 
Looks like this one's a dead end, so either we find the stairs here, or... Oh, it's a powered shrine. Interesting. Yeah, so the mudslide does look like it has a bit of an area of effect when it does hit. It's just, it fires so slowly. I don't know. It, it definitely does do the damage. I guess it's just the slow speed, while nice, is not... Is not enough to, I don't know, make or break it for me. Either way, let's get through here, bust these things up, and I kind of wish I knew what the powered shrine did. Oh, and looks like the staircase is in here. The question is, do we go down, or do we go back for the other room and hope for a heart or the runes? Well, you know what? Let's just go back. It's not that much of a journey. This area is small. It's not like Binding of Isaac, which actually takes a little while to traverse. Or, well, Tower of Guns doesn't let you go back through a level anyway. Oh, there's nothing in here. Welp. Oh, no, it doesn't look like Mudslide has that much of an AoE when it hits. Maybe it's just, it has a large hitbox and can technically hit multiple targets? Or, oh wait, there's a light room. There we go. So, I think my one major complaint about this game is that you can't just combine things willy-nilly. You actually have to wait until you get a combiner. I, I guess the other complaint I have for this game is that it is very ugly. Like, let, let's let's be serious here. This is pretty basic. Oh, we could get plus one shock levels? Eh, let's do it. Okay, it, it it's pretty basic looking. Like, yes, this is their first game, but uh, boy. Okay, so we're floor two. Enemies move 10% faster. Okay, so suddenly Mudslide seems a little bit more on the attractive side. I'm busting these up for hope that we will get our hands on a double combiner or something like that. Because I would very much like to have, you know, some... Oh, shoot, that is fast. Oh, wait, that's a bat. And looks like we're going, we're getting attacked by Mud Golems, but with the way their uh, name is thrown up. Ah, giant rats, too. Yeah, with the name they're... Uh, with the way their name is thrown up, like, um, because it goes underneath the shadow of their character model, it kind of looks like Mud Unidan or something, it, it, at least at first. And if you're a Redditor, that's just kind of odd. That man is ever-present, or at least he used to be. Anyway, so, realistically... Oh, man, those noises. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn off character voices at some point. I hope that's actually, like, a viable thing. Either way... My golems, not actually that big of a threat. They do hit hard though, or something hit hard. It's hits hard, there we go, we level up. So, what do we do? Evasion, 50% to dodge, 5% 50, uh, to dodge 50% damage. Sap, uh, energy from elementals and earthen enemies. Uh, killing enemies gives you health. Yeah, let's do that. We are a little bit injured and I can't imagine we're going to heal that uh, particularly fast. Okay, so we've got a... Yeah, let's let's give it a, another go. I'm feeling confident here. Oh, I see. This just means that there's a buff room. Uh, for some reason, I, th I thought this was going to be another event room, and I was hoping that we'd be able to get some nice stuff. Oh, shoot. It's a rat room. Uh, so, a bunch of rat nests. Well, let's just l load these down. I, I guess we do get... Oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Wow. That was that was fast. Getting cornered by a bunch of plus one rats is no good for anybody. Either way, short run admittedly, but good run nonetheless. I definitely am not going to go with Mudslide again, unless I really need to slow enemies down. And as much as I like Kinetic Bolt, there are better ones than it. So, either way, I will see you guys on the next episode of Runers. And, as always, thanks for watching.